Oh. Got him. What's up, Better Days? Today we're at Couchville Lake. I'm with my buddy Peyton again. We was out here the last time. We caught what, 175 fish? 175, 175. crappie? No, I think you caught a couple bass, right? We caught two bass. Yeah, so 170 something crappie. We're gonna really try to put it on them today. That's number one. Yeah, I need to get an anchor trolley on both I was sides. Say, if you got it on the other side, you put it on your front right, I think it would turn. It would. So, what I'm gonna do eventually is get an anchor trolley on both sides. There we go. Now these are all on eight top, to yeah. nine inch. Now then, see, you should have been out here the last couple years. Yeah. This is decent. Is it really? We were catching three and four inch crappie for really? the last few years, and someone even commented on my channel the other day. They said, "Yeah, they're getting noticeably bigger out there." Yeah. Oh, I got one casting. Wow. Oh, it's, that's a fish. It's the tiniest fish in the world. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Something's going on here. Is it? Look at this. Oh my God. This is what I just told you. <laughs> this is what I just said to him that we were catching the tiniest. Wow. Now that's catfish that's bait. The, and yeah, I didn't even bring my catfish pole today, guys. The last time I was out here, I brought a catfish pole. I was using these for bait. That's one of this year's spawn, sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is a, this, is, this fish isn't even a year old yet. He was born in the spring. There we go. <laughs> you don't want that old stinking minnow. Oh, you got to see it. It wasn't a carp, was it? It was a buffalo. That was huge. That was a that was a buffalo. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, my camera's pointed over there. I got that on camera. It was. It come and it come way out of the water. I mean, that wasn't like, oh, uh, I'm just gonna hit the surface. That's called porpoising when they do that. Way Yeah, casting and reeling is just, you get to feel that thump. It's, like a bass. it's a, just a big crappie. Oh, yeah, that is a big crappie. Mm -hmm. That's our first keeper of the day. Oh. I think I'm going to hang on to him. He's got some nice meat on him. Spring string? Yeah. I think so. I thought about keeping that. I might change my mind. I mean, if you're going to catch fish like that, yeah. you hate to throw them back. Right. But I, I've recently got my house set up where it's real easy for me to fillet fish. I've got a this special board that's got this clip that holds them down, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, nice. And then makes a nice flat area so you can get that knife real close. What I don't have, I usually just sit on a bucket and do it on a bucket. Uh, and it makes it hard. I used to do that, but then I started catching a bunch of fish, and I was like, you know what? I need, I need to get the hook up, and I need to get that laser knife. Yeah. Because anytime you go on a YouTube channel and you're like, how to fillet this kind of fish, they're like, you just cut like this, and I'm like, dude, my knife can't do that. Nope. No knife can do that. I don't know how they do. I don't know how anybody. Sh I have knife sharpeners. Every kind of knife sharpener under the sun. I don't know how anybody gets a knife sharp. I'll never oh, know. I got some of pretty sharp. I don't. It's just hard for me. <laughs> it's always so hard. I just use one of those. There we go. The there we go. There's a fish on the side. He a, is a black nose. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty thick. A black nose crappie. He's this one's skinny though. He's nice and long. Yeah, he's pretty too. But uh 
He ain't the one. He ain't the one you want to keep. He, now, he would measure. He'd probably go 10, but... I gotta click both of those. God, Ali, I'm beating you up with my paw. <laughs> You're fine. I got a lot of stuff going on over here. It's always tough fishing with three or four rods. So what I was doing yesterday though, I had two out. Trout fishing is really easy if you do it the way I do it. I just take one of these lightweight poles and put a sinker and a hook with a some power bait and a worm. Yeah. Yeah, and then just throw it out there and let it sit on the bottom. They'll come by and pick it up and you're you'll see your pole leaning against a rock or I like to carry a, a chair with me. And uh oh that's a good one too. Dad gum, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Guys, we have got a beefcake here. I'm all wrapped up in yours. Oh. I mean, he got it, dude. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a nice little crappie. Oh, my man got it. They're biting good. They are biting good. Yeah. We're gonna... I don't know what would happen if I put it in the middle. I'm not struggling to catch fish casting and reeling, so I'm not worried about the direction for right now. Oh, that was yeah. I was like, oh, I had another one just. Oh, no, it was you. It's me again. Like... This is a problem, though. I can't keep doing this. Let's see here. When I cast it, I cast it forward. Yeah, the fish swam over there. No, well, not even that much, as much as it was the wind turned us. Yeah, we're kind of just swiveling. Yeah, but we have a small range of motion, which is nice. Yeah. It's not a huge swing, but you're right. And I've been thinking about it for months now. I need a anchor trolley on both sides. Two weeks ago, I went and picked up this exact same kayak. Yeah, you told me about that. I need to put an anchor trolley on either side of that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it worked out. It's back in front of me again. Cool. Not too bad. Ooh. Gotcha. Ooh. There we go. Eat a minner. Do I need one? I said he ate a minner. Oh. Yeah, you probably do. Yeah, you probably do. There we go. Look at mine. They suck the eyeballs out. Like it with the head of a crawfish. Yeah. That generator is 4,000 cubic feet per second, so what the what the stones was doing. And it's all bubbling out the same spot, right? And uh, he's sitting in his kayak talking to me, and then he gets a little bit tippy, and then flip, flip, he's just gone, dude. Nah, he was sitting. Wow. But, like, that generating water kicks off some crazy waves and currents and stuff. Yeah. You never know. I mean, it's very unpredictable up there. Yeah. And uh, he just flip, flip, and then he was over, dude. And uh, he's wearing a life jacket, right? Yep, so he tried to get back in the kayak, like right there next to the generator, and that was a bad idea. It started to tip the whole kayak over. So I told him, No, no, no don't do that because this thing was turning, he was gonna lose all his gear. Because as it was, the kayak didn't flip, he just fell out of it because yeah. the wave hit him and he whoop, and just went yeah. overboard, which was the luckiest thing that could happen. Because yep. if it tips upside down. Not only are you not getting back in it, but I mean, it's hard to get it out of there. It's yep. it's upside down and it's taking on water now. Yep. So uh, it stayed right side up and all his gear stayed in there. And his keys and his wallet and his phone and everything that you have that's in your kayak. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, even if it's in a floating bag, when you're right there next to the generator, it's going to hit that current and go away. Yep. Like away, away. Well, he got lucky. He got right on the side of the kayak and grabbed a hold of it and I threw him a line and then dragged him all the way back over to the boat ramp which is probably like 300 yards 
which was really hard to do. Hard paddling. Man, that's crazy. What the you said, man? Mm -hmm. Was he a bigger guy? No, he's my size. That's the only way I can get to him. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, that's a good That's one. a nice 11 inch fish. Boat flips only. <laughs> Boat flips only. Wow. Look at the eye on that thing. Wow. Look at the mouth on that thing. What kind of lure it can get down that thing? It's like gullet. It seems like they moved up to up here. Out. He's all right. He's cool. He's a cool cat. And a trolling motor and a fish finder and a live well and tons of storage and a trailer with new tires and an extra tire on the side of the trailer. And it was 3000 yep. bucks. And, and like, you just don't buy a $3,000 kayak. Just get a boat. And then oh. people give me a hard time. They always say, no, 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 you just don't understand kayak fishing. Brother, I go kayak fishing three or four times a week. <laughs> you just don't understand kayak fishing, why we do it. And then big fish like to hit stuff like that. I was caught some giant fish on six inch spoon, man. Six inch spoon? Yes. Where do you catch, uh, like at a river? What? Yep. How do you fish a six inch spoon? Just throw it and slowly retrieve it? No, just drop it down. That's what the live scope's for. You can sit there and watch them. They'll be sitting right in the middle of the water column. You drop the spoon right down on their head and just kind of. What are we talking? Striped bass or white bass? Bass and striped bass. What? Yep. I'm telling you, man, I got it. When I get another boat, which should be next year. I just need to get live scope now. Like the kind you can put in a backpack and put on yeah. anything. Yep. Cause I have, I need to put it in my kayak, put it, it in my canoe, right put it here. in my boat. It would be perfect for this application right here where you're sitting in one spot, you can look right out here and you can put like a little independent swivel mm -hmm. so you can look at all the different directions. And you can sit there and watch your bait and bob it right above your head and watch it come up and eat it. Okay. But it cost me 3,500? You can get the boat, go on the GPS store. Com. And uh, they got bundles for uh, the cheapest I've seen anywhere. You can just get like a, you can even get a little seven inch screen if you wanted to for the kayak. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do this, because they have like ice fishing bundles. That I've probably, seen them. They probably probably right up your alley if you're going to use it's, it. It's all in one bag. Yeah. It's got the battery and everything in there. And you can just make up your own little thing you can mount on the side of your. Right. That's what everybody does. I, I seen guys use mop handles, broomsticks, all kinds of cool stuff. Dude, casting and reeling. Do you want to use my other rod? No, I'm casting about, and reeling. I'm about to start casting. Again. Start casting. <laughs> it's a chunk. It's a chunk. <laughs> I'm about to start casting. Oh, I got one on the other side. It ain't come off. <sighs> okay. Do you think he's a full pin? Oh, I just lost one on the other side. Thank you, sir. Now, guys, you don't have to measure these fish on Couchville Lake. Any size will do, but he is over 10, 10 and a half. He was 10? Over, over 10. Look here. Wow. Looky. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's Schrodinger's fish. He's not lost yet, but he is lost. We, Here, he's not lost quick. yet. He's not lost yet, but he is lost. We're not going to get this fish. Oh, I got him. It's not Schrodinger's fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's so many hybrids. You can catch them up the river. You can catch them out in the main lake. You can catch them everywhere. Yep. What's going on here? Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh. 
<laughs> That's a good one. Oh my goodness. I said, what's going on here? I had this thing. He ate my minnow. Guys, look at this chonker of a friggin' hog. Oh, fat. Jeez, that's a big crappie. You think that thing weighs a pound? I, if it doesn't, it's close <gasps> to it. <laughs> My hook broke in this big old fish. <laughs> Guys, this fish is a hoss. I'm telling you, it's a 15 ounce fish. Wow, <laughs> you had it right on the money. You yeah. said if it's not, it's really close. Yep. You had it right on the money. That's a 15 ounce crappie. That's a hog, dude. I bet he goes 12 inches. Oh, yeah, 100%. Let me grab this. I got it right here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's not lose this one. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's just over 12. Wow, what a good crappie. Guys, come on out and get them. My goodness. We're seeing them caught like this every time we come out now. Right, they got caught that big one last time we were out here. Mm-hmm. The more of these we catch and keep out of here, the bigger they're gonna get. Oh, absolutely. It's bizarre how people don't understand how that works. The more bait fish there is for them to eat, the bigger they're gonna get, less, less competition. Less competition, key. All right, number 21 for me. And, uh, Nice meaty back on that fish. He's going on a stringer. A nice little stringer. Turning out to be a pretty good day. Pretty tough day. It's the day after the Super Bowl. Yeah. Monday. What is it, the 12th now? Yep. Golly. Already almost yeah, time's flying by. Turkey season for a long. Yeah. Be fishing at all. Are you serious? Jeez, you guys always do this to me. Nobody goes fishing. Only only in the month of April. That's the best month of fishing there is. Be able to go do stuff again on the weekend. You're really nice. There he is. Just letting dangle right in front of us. <gasps> Big old bass. Big old bass. Oh, oh, I'm in a mess. I got a mess. Oh, it's a good oh, bass. That's a good bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll get him now. Oh, he got oh, red that's lips. A good bass, Look at man. what do them red lips mean? I have a lot of people tell me a lot of different things. I don't know. Franklin. See what? Look, he's been kissing his cousin. Look at that. Look, look at his throat. Oh, he's got like uh, he's got something. Thank. That's a fun catch. That's a fun thing to do. Yeah. What a fun thing to do. Right on his upper lip. But he ate right there in like six foot of water right off the front of the boat as I was holding it while I was done reeling it in. Another big old fish that probably weighed real close to a pound. It's gonna be the last one of the day. Let's do this trip. Hit me up, betterdaysfishing at gmail.com. I'll bring you out here for four hours and we'll go after fish like this right here. $175, that's the wintertime special out on Couchville Lake. This is Long Hunter State Park and I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let's take one quick look at this stringer. We got nine today. Ugh, nine of those. Nice one. Thanks for watching. You guys have a better day.